Hey, this is Jessica, and I'm doing a little new series called uh, My Pet Spotlight, and it's going to be on Bender. This will be the first one. I want to do Fry first, but he's hard to catch and keep still. So this is Bender. He is a male tabby. Um, I guess you can call him brown. Um, he is seven, or going to be seven this year. And I got him when he was a kitten. He was really cute. He was only two months old. Um, I found him on, like, uh, Kijiji type's website. It was actually, it was back when I lived in Ottawa, so it was called Used Ottawa, like, dot com. It's kind of like Kijiji, but a little bit more ghetto. I don't know. And this guy was, um, had a barn cat, and his barn cat had be kittens, so he was just trying to get the kittens good homes. But he actually cared about, like, where he, they, like, went to. So Pat was talking to the guy, and, uh, we agreed to get one because I wanted a kitten. We already had Fry at this point, and we had Pat's cat Peanut, but Peanut was getting old, and Peanut ended up having a tumor in his ear, so we didn't know how long we would have him for. So the guy came over eventually and brought two of the males, because we only wanted males. We didn't, weren't interested in females, so because he did have one female. He had one female left and two males. So he came over and brought two of the males, and they looked identical. That was the weird thing. Like, identical color, identical like markings, everything. Apparently the whole litter looked identical, which is really weird because usually kittens look different, especially since his mother was an orange tabby, which is weird. So Bender's mother was an orange tabby, and all the kittens look the same, so I'm looking at these two little kittens, and they're two months old, so they're tiny and adorable. And um, I didn't know which one to pick, <laughs> because I was like, I want both, but we already had two cats, so it's kind of crazy. So, but Bender, this guy, was the one that kept jumping off the couch and wanting to explore. So that's how I decided to pick him, because he wanted to stay here, because he was trying to explore. And the other guy was just sitting there, being boring. But it might have been a bad idea that we got the one that was trying to explore, because he is such a weird baby cat. I call him baby because he is essentially a baby, even though he's seven years old. He is still a baby. Um, he's very vocal, like vocal to the point where like he sounds like a female cat in heat, even though he's male and he's neutered. We got him neutered when he was eight months, when we moved here, so we got neutered here. And uh, yeah, he's very vocal, he'll talk to you, you can say his name, you can be like, hey Bender, and he'll be like, meow, like he'll talk back to you. Um, he complains a lot. Likes to cry in the middle of the night, which is awesome for Pat because he can't sleep through it. I can. Yes, we don't know. What he, I don't know what he wants. Just attention. I don't know. I think he gets upset when Fry doesn't want to play with him, so he starts to meow. <laughs> um, other than that, um, he was a handful when he was a kitten. He was like having a baby. Like you had to stay up with him <laughs> and like keep him. You had to keep him playing. You could have to play with him while he was up, and then when he passed out, you could relax. <laughs> when he woke up again, it was chaos again. Yeah, it was. And I used to have him sleeping in my bed with me as a kitten, but and he used to sleep the whole night. Then it got to the point where he wouldn't, and he'd meow, and meow, and meow, so I let him out, because I was like, I need to go to work. You keep waking me up as a little baby. So He's definitely almost like a bender personality. The reason why he got his name was because I already had the orange tabby Fry, which we'll talk about when I do his video. So Fry and Bender, it's from Futurama if you don't know. It's the two main characters. He kind of is like Bender because like everything's about him. Like really, he's he's kind of like an a-hole. Everything's about Bender. He, doesn't, he likes Fry, but um, everything's about him. Him and Fry got, got along right away. Even when he was little, because Fry was much bigger than him. They were a year apart. So Fry was full grown, and then you have like this little Bender, puffball, and but he used to play rough with Fry. So he used to try to play with Peanut, and then Peanut would be like, no. Peanut was like 16 at the time, so yeah, definitely not playing. He would uh, give him a good swat, and he'd get the point. But he used to sleep with Peanut, because Fry does not like to be cuddled, so he can't curl up to Fry. Fry will just walk away and give him this weird look, like, what are you doing? So he used to sleep with Peanut and play with Fry. He's very soft, you can't tell, but he's, he's really soft. His fur is really soft. Softer than fries. He's being good now, because he's being all relaxed. It's too bad I can't get you talking. If you ever hear him meowing in the background of my videos, it's Bender, it's not Fry. Because 
she is the vocal one. Yeah, look at you. I don't have the flash on because I didn't want him. I figured he wouldn't stay if I had the flash on. So he is, um, I think last time we went to the vet, he was like 17 pounds. He is overweight. Um, both my cats are, but he is more, so not much we can do about it. He's always been big since, well, when he was a kitten, he was fine, and then once he got full grown, he's always been a little overweight, but he's not terribly bad. I've definitely seen worse. Hell, my grandmother's cats were like 24-pound cats or something crazy like that, and they were massive. So he's not too bad. Um, he's also the one that goes outside occasionally, like on a leash. We'll bring him outside to the backyard. He likes to uh, eat grass and just watch the birds. Try to chase them, but obviously that's not going to happen. And that's another thing he'll cry about, is when he knows the weather's nice, he'll just sit at the door and cry. He wants to go outside. It's annoying. So he's also the much more cuddly cat, even though both my cats aren't really cuddly, they won't sit on you. He wants attention more though. He's not good with strangers, even though he used to be. Now he's not. Like, if somebody comes in the house, both cats disappear. So. But he used to be good with strangers. He used to not care. Just like I bathed him once when I first got him and he was fine. Well, he was so small though, so it's not like he could get away. His birthday's in September. Um, I basically call it September 1st because it could be like the last week of August or September. So I just say September because my birthday's in September. So. Yeah. He's getting older. There's his tag. I don't know if you can see it. it has his name on the back. And my phone number, so I'm not going to show it. Um. He's pretty healthy. Nothing's ever happened except for when he hurt himself at the vet's last time, because he's an idiot. He decided to jump off the high metal table, and uh, the floor is hard, so he hurt one of his back legs. I can't remember which one it was, but uh, we ended up not giving him any like prescribed medicine. We just watched him for a couple of days and gave him a painkiller. So. It's more like he just probably sprained a muscle or something. It wasn't that bad. The vet checked him out, obviously, since he was there. He didn't break anything. Silly boys. Because we had both the cats together in the room, which was kind of difficult to control. What else can I say about Bender? I think he's purring. Oh, he likes to eat hay now. He's a, uh, yeah, just a, a weirdo. I don't know if it's because he resembles grass to him or what, but he will jump up and uh, try to grab some hay out of the hay bags. <laughs> I don't want him to do it. I don't know if he's eating it or just chewing on it. I don't know. But I don't think it's too good for him to actually ingest too much of it. You're not looking at us. You're not looking at us. It's also, he's also fun to bug. I'll hold him like a baby and, uh, until he starts to growl. <laughs> but he's gentle. Like You can try to fuss with him and get him to... like scratch you and he doesn't. If he paws at you, his nails won't be out. He's good like that. And if he bites you, he doesn't bite down hard. So he's pretty good for that. But he is vocal. He will talk to you. Just not on video. What's that? So, so this video is getting long now, so we will stop. So this is Bender. My baby boys. And uh, I don't know who I'll do next, so stay tuned for more pet spotlights. Bye bye.